Hi there, Dr. Corey from Community Hearing Center coming to you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about wax removal. There, we've gotten a lot of questions about how can you keep wax out of your ears at home and we're going to look at some of the side effects of what happens when you use Q-tips or other methods of taking the earwax out of your ears. We're going to be looking in a, a patient's ear to see what the wax looks like in place, what happens when you use that Q-tip and what it does to the wax, and then we'll ultimately get the wax out of that ear and talk about some safe ways that you can take care of your ears at home. So strap in and hang on, here we go. So we're using a video otoscope to be able to see into the ear canal of this patient so that we can see what wax is there. And there is some wax in this ear canal. It's not blocking the ear canal, but it is present in the ear and is as you can see, using its kind of natural process to work its way out of the ear. One of the myths about earwax is that we need to remove it all. Any wax in place is not good, and that's not true. The earwax is there to keep the ear canal clean, to catch dirt and debris, and it is a bit of a self-cleaning system as it migrates its way out. So again, we don't need to remove all the wax, but let's take a look at what happens when we do try. Okay, now that we've seen the wax in the ear, we've seen in, in our patient's ear the wax that's there. Now I'm gonna take a Q-tip and I'm gonna use it in her ear as if she was trying to clean that wax out. And then we'll see what, what it looks like. Here we go. So a lot of people take the Q-tip and they just go in and they try to clean as much as they can out of that ear canal like that. Okay. Now, on the end of the Q-tip, it looks like there's some wax on it which there probably, yes, there is. So let's take a look back in the ear and see what that's done. So here we are back in the ear again, and you can see that the wax at the entrance of the ear has been affected and has been removed, but look deep into the ear here. The ear wax that was there before has now been pushed even deeper into the ear. So we did get some wax on the end of the Q-tip, but the Q-tip actually pushed that ear wax deeper into the ear, preventing it from coming out in its natural way. We're back to the ear that we used the Q-tip in and created some wax impaction there. We're now going to go in and use our curette once again to clean out the ear. The wax that we're getting out of this patient's ear is soft and is easily removed, so we're able to use the curette quite easily. Some other techniques that your audiologist may use to clean the ear out would be using irrigation or water to help soften up the wax and to bring it forward. They may also use a small suction pump to be able to draw out whatever's in the ear. All those techniques are, are used, especially if the wax has been in the ear for a long time and is not soft and not movable. They may also use a solution to be able to try and dissolve and the wax that's in the ear before they go and attempt to remove it. So let's get the rest of this wax impaction out of this ear that used the Q-tip. Okay, here we go. So again, this left ear has had some wax impacted into it from the Q-tip. So as we go in again, we're going to sweep just very carefully. And there you go. There's a good majority of that wax out of that ear. All right, and there's the rest of it right there. So again, as we're, as we're looking at doing this with, these, with cleaning your ears out of earwax, the important part is to let the wax follow its natural pattern. We don't wanna disrupt that natural pattern too much, especially with home techniques, because it does lead to wax being impacted and could, and could lead to more difficulty in cleaning it out of the ear. So this ear's clean and we'll take a look at it. And here we go, back into the ear that had the Q-tip in it. And now you can see that uh, we've removed all the wax that had built up in there and the ear canal is relatively clean. We still have some wax in place because we want it there to keep the ear canal lubricated, but we've gotten the majority of the wax out of the way. Thanks for joining us on our video about wax removal. Hope that you found it informative. Remember, a Q-tip doesn't do what you think it's doing. It does bring some wax out. As we saw from the video today, it pushes more wax into the ear canal than it brings out. We'll add to that ear candles. Ear candles do about the same thing. Pick up some wax at the front, but they're dangerous for your ear canal and your eardrum, and I'd recommend that you don't use them. 
Keeping the ear clean is important, but remember that the wax in the ear is a natural conveyor belt. It works its way out with dirt and infections, and over cleaning the ear can lead to problems as well. If you have your ears are plugged, or you feel like that there is some hearing loss happening, or you have tinnitus or dizziness, these are some of the symptoms that may indicate that you have some wax in your ear that needs to be removed. Would recommend to you to talk to your healthcare professional or uh, an audiologist that you're comfortable with and get that checked out. Thanks for joining us today and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.